Welcome to Bonsai Therapy. Today we are going to uh, do some uh, much needed work on this uh, uh, Japanese uh, maple. Grew very well in the spring and in the summer. I think it grew uh, stronger actually in this last month of summer. Now we have like some uh, uh, shoots like going straight up and some shoots like going down and we're going to do some uh, cleaning um, on this tree. There are some branches that are really uh, don't like that position and we're going to have to uh, remove them. And this is my first tree. This is the first tree uh, that I have that I really kind of paid attention uh, to and uh, it's been developing uh, uh, really well like uh, this tree. This tree used to be like a full uh like a tree like a really really tall and uh, at the time i didn't knew better or else i would uh, take a few trees out of this tree but uh, i really didn't know better so this is the trunk of the tree uh i, I can say like in the last uh, three four years like uh, it grew a lot like uh, it kind of expanded a lot got a little uh like way way uh thick these are the roots you're gonna have to do like some work on these roots too today but nothing major uh, just to uh, take the roots that are like uh, coming up and, uh, and that's uh, pretty much it and coming next spring then we will uh, do a better work on these uh, uh, roots. Uh, this tree was uh, repotted last year um, like uh, during fall, uh, end of fall, beginning of winter. There's like a wound on this, on this, uh, on this tree, like this tree was grafted so the graft was pretty much here and I just, uh, you know, I just uh, acted out uh, because it was like growing like a big bulb in you. So I just uh, went and I just cut it. And uh, now it's like, uh, I think the scar, it's working like uh, pretty well. Uh, it's kind of closing. It might take a few years to, to, to do that. But the thing with this, with this tree, because uh, the graft was here, um, I cannot like let anything grow from here or else the leaves and stuff will take over uh, from the original tree. Um, so the, 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 the Japanese uh, elm part, uh, um, sorry, the Japanese maple part of it uh, will be taken over by uh, whatever was the original uh, uh, graft, uh, probably green maple. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty nasty uh, uh, cut that I had to work in there. There's another cut right there. I don't know if you can see it. This cut is more recent. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit so it can start like closing in. Um, there's like paste on it still. Um, and I'm gonna, you know, uh, this, this cut is more recent. Um, so it's gonna take a little longer to heal. But uh, for now, I'm kind of happy because it's closing on the sides. So it's kind of pretty cool. Um, you know, and uh, we will work this thing a little bit today. This branch over here, as so you can see it, this branch over here uh, uh, really just came out uh, this spring. This is going to be the front of the tree, right? Because uh, there's no scars. So this is going to be the front of the tree. And one of the ways I managed to uh, uh, build a bend on this tree, um, like this bend here, there was a branch, a little branch growing in here, and I just decided to, okay, uh, let's concentrate all the growth on this uh, uh, branch here. So he has like a natural turn, I didn't wire at all. And there's another turn here, I did the same. There was like a branch growing here, and then I just, I just let it go and, and build the turn. There's like some knobs that I'm gonna have to uh, remove. Now, right here, I want the tree to grow up, so, you know the apex is going to be up here. I don't. I don't want them. I don't want the tree to turn anymore. I'm going to turn here, and I want the apex to uh, go here. Because if you look at the parallel, the parallel like the cut was here, like the first cut, the second cut was here. So if I let it grow like this, and then I build the, at the apex here, and then, and then I, you know, work it out uh, like that. So I really don't want a lot of stuff uh, coming to the side. So I'm just going to do some. Uh, directional pruning uh, on this thing. So uh, let's go and uh, work on it. One thing I like when we have like a uh, uh, big uh, branch when you have to uh, actually do uh, some not very detailed work on it. I usually, I use my uh, big scissors. They say that these scissors are good for me. I, I, I find it very comfortable to work uh, in a regular way. 
very difficult on my MS, my body was full of hands, uh, it kind of works better. And if I, then if I have to um, cut like uh, closer, I'll, I'll do that with another scissor or whatever works. So this big one here, you can see this big, 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 like uh, thick one here. I'm going to uh, completely remove this one. to be outside but the mosquitoes mosquito are like crazy. It's just don't leave you alone. It's nice thing that I'm outside today because it's not like really hot in this row. It's going to get like uh, warmer later in the day and then it's going to be impossible to move for me to be outside. Now, there's like some directional pruning that I want to do here. I'm going to take this one out. This one is growing inside. So. Remove it now I'm going to start taking like stuff like going straight down. Some of these uh, uh, cuts that we're going to make today will be pretty good actually for uh, cuttings. This tree to go straight up right now. I want them to rather like, go like this way. So I'm going to remove this big branch with me. Oh, it's not big, big, big. It's long. <laughs> As you can see, I have some trouble getting close because you know my hand is going help. So one day I'm really going to come up and make like a video of roofers, me trying to cut stuff. Like my hands don't cooperate. And me trying to remember stuff. Which can be a bit tricky too. There we go, going up, take it out. This one's going up too, let's remove it. strong for my taste so I'm just gonna go back and as you can see we kind of have a little we can call it a little patio for this side basically what I want I can actually let this one go straight this little one here I can let it go uh, straight for a little bit doesn't hurt but I'm happy we got a little bad here which is pretty cool and then now we got like these uh, little ones coming up on this side it's really little water for now uh, so maybe later um, we will deal with those little ones now right here on this side this is the side that I have to work on because there is like a big uh, uh, one like coming up straight I really don't want it, so I'm just going to cut it all the way down here. There we go. Then you're probably going to have a little uh, die back here, so we can just let it like uh, uh, let nature work. Now here, it's going this way. I don't think I really want to do that far. So I'm just going to cut it here because I really want to build another pad here. So I don't know if you can see it. I really want to build another pad on this side. So we have a pad here, we have a pad, another pad here. This thing is going to got some more stuff growing this way that we're going to you know, let it grow towards us. And this is the back. Uh, this one that we were like working now it was the back of the tree and I think I can maybe cut a load just two leaves so we got the front we got the sad with some somewhat of a pad already it's pretty cool and uh, 
and we got like uh, the back one and this one on top this one on top is going to be the apex so the apex I'm just uh, probably not do too much on it so we have we have this branch here and this branch here in the middle and you have another one here and another one coming up like this it's smaller so what I'm going to do right here I am going to cut this big one because there are two more like uh, growing by it and and I'm gonna cut this one too because I got smaller ones coming almost from the same area so I can get rid of this for now and here it doesn't bother I'm gonna take this one out to uh, the first two leaves so we're pretty much we're pretty much set on this side doesn't bother me this for now stay like that I'm just gonna cut one of the leaves going the other way because I'd rather have this thing going this way this really doesn't bother me for now like going the way it is as you can see it's coming straight from here it's not really bothering me now the top here this is like the apex it's trying to be the apex Apex is a bit congested. So it doesn't bother me if we have to just let it grow up. As you can see, this leaf is probably a growth from the original um, tree that was grafted to this uh, Japanese maple. I'm going to remove it just for the heck of it because we have enough stuff. And I think if we remove these ones. of the Japanese maple leaves to uh, be better. And besides we have smaller leaves like growing too. As for the noise that you guys have been listening to, this is uh, my uh, house is by a road. Someone is cutting the grass. So we got the lawn, lawn mower and the traffic, which it's not a really cool background sound, but it's the best I can do. So I'm just removing the, the leaves that belong to the old graft and leaving the you know, Japanese maple ones. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them on because I don't have enough uh, leaves here and these ones are the ones I'm going to appropriate the rest. And I think that for now this is pretty much this is pretty much what we got here. Like here we got two branches come from the same side. Move one. This one is getting a little uh, thicker. I'm just gonna keep it as it is, but I really don't want this one to grow in. So I'm gonna move it. Take 
this one too. Take these little ones. And at this point, I'm not really like uh, uh, looking at this tree and thinking, oh, this is like a triangular shape or anything like that. I'm just really kind of cutting it in a way that uh, it's presentable, I guess. So I think we are done with this. So right here we got like a a little root that's gonna come straight in between these two. I don't think I want it, so I'm gonna remove it. And it's really not a big deal. He had some, uh, it's too small to be a problem. I hear the same thing. I'm gonna take this one because basically I don't want any roots like coming up like between these, these two here. Like the little ones might become an issue later, so I'm gonna take them out. These ones here are too small, so. a couple of like little roots that are coming in some from under larger roots that I want to remove now back here I just want to show you uh, something that it was pretty funny uh, well, it wasn't that funny, but you know, it was like here. Uh, we had like a squirrel that decided to plant, like put a little walnut over there. So it kind of ended a little bit like the way the tree was growing. But uh, what do we have roots there? So we'll be fine. And uh, this is uh, this is it. We got this tree completely done for, for the day. Uh, and there's like a few little uh, things that uh, sometimes when we do bonsai we kind of like. And I'm going to show you something that I'm really proud of. I'm kind of proud of this first to start with this root base. And what I usually do with this root base, I, I kind of cover the tree. And when you look at it, I cover it almost like this. And uh, when I do it, like, uh, you know, it's like a signpost or something like that. It looks like that. But it allows the roots to, you know, spread. And then after like uh, two years or so, or so, when I uh, kind of repot the tree, uh, then I just go and uh, check the roots, see how the roots are doing, and uh, and I work on the roots, uh, you know, as best as I can. Uh, but kind of, it's kind of cool that the roots came out this way. Um, probably I'm gonna have to do some extra work like later in spring. Uh, another thing that I, I want to show you guys is like for the trees that I keep outside uh, like for uh, one or two trees that I have bigger and uh, that, uh, that I keep outside I like to use these net pots. Net pots are pretty cool uh, because what happens with these net pots is uh, the roots are expand and uh, when they get in contact with the sun and the air uh, they don't grow uh, uh, more, so it's kind of like uh, soft pruning or uh, out of pruning, uh, if you wish. Um, the, the roots and 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 the, and the weather and climate kind of prunes the, the roots itself, so they can keep growing, but they never come out of the pot, um, which is a good thing because it doesn't hinder the tree at all. I think uh, I think it you know it helps the tree uh, to a certain point. Um, so I like to have these, uh, these pots when I keep the trees outside. When I keep the trees inside, because my trees inside, they stay by like a small windowsill, uh, I, I cannot have like these pots there, um, because for starters they're too big, and then if I water the trees, um, 
it's going to be a mess because the water comes out right away. Uh, that said, these, these pots, these trees need to be watered like more than once a day um, because the water comes in and actually just goes out uh, as it, it, it's coming in. But it keeps, it keeps the tree uh, healthy and, uh, and it's good for uh, if you want to make like a bigger trunk, um, a larger trunk, I think that they're good for the tree. And this is pretty much it. So this tree, uh, it's uh, uh, done for, for, for today. Uh, you just let it like uh, keep growing uh, and then I'll see how the tree is when I come back uh, in September and uh, and then we'll see uh, what work can be done so basically we took care of the top there was like uh, lots of growth in there like uh, and we can let this uh, trees uh, grow unchecked because then they will take over now the other thing that I'm really proud of it's a small little thing uh, it's nothing but for me um, I'm sorry I like this <laughs> I like this pad that you just built here it's going to be cool when it grows it's going to be nice and uh, and to be honest with you it took me a little bit of time to achieve this um, so yeah when you achieve what, what you want uh, it's, it's small things become little things so we got a pad I'm happy with it and uh, and that's pretty much it um, we're done for the day you guys have a pleasant day uh, thanks for your time thanks for uh, subscribing thanks for like uh, everything um, I'm very happy not only with the pad but actually with the way the channel is uh, going um, we got uh, some more subscriptions people are watching and uh, you know that's uh, the, the best we can expect uh, again uh, have a good one, uh, stay sharp, uh, behave, and I really need to get out of the sun because now it's getting hot. See you next time.